another comparison video, this time between two different EOSs, the Honeysuckle Honeydew and the Fresh Watermelon, mostly because I feel they're basically the same exact product. There's only some very, very minor differences, so I will talk about them. The most notable, looking at it obviously, is the color. If you put them together, it could make a cute Christmas present because it is red and green, so there's that. But this one is shinier than this matte finish. That's about the most notable difference with the packaging. So you open them up, it's same exact deal as usual. Still got your usual half dome, that sort of thing. Same exact color product, as you can see. Do, 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 do. Yes, exactly the same. Even if you look at them, the consistency is the same. When you put them on, they both have the same level of shine, which not all of the EOS products have, but these two do. I don't know if it's something special with the melon scents or what, but they've both got it. They're also both, I think, softer than most of the rest of the line. This one more so than this one, but once you like get into the actual product down towards past the first layer, it does seem like it gets softer the more as it goes on, whereas some of the other ones, it doesn't seem to matter how much you use it, it's, you still have to work a little bit at it to get it to go on. So there's that. Um, Scent-wise, this is where the only difference whatsoever comes in, and it's very, very subtle. Being called Honeysuckle Honeydew, there's a very teeny tiny top note, or bottom note, or whatever note you want to call it, of floral. And I use Honeysuckle scented body wash, so when I first got this I was like, it does not smell at all like that. But comparing this one to this one back to back, you can just barely pick up on the teeniest, tiniest little amount of it in there. But they are almost identical even back to back. They are practically the same exact product. So with that in mind, should they discontinue this guy here? It's not really the end of the world because it's almost the same thing here. It's just this one minus that teeny little bit of floralness to it. They're almost the same though, even using a back to back. Unless you're paying super close attention, they smell the same. They both smell like melon. That is the underlying thing here. They're both melons, and apparently they use the same melon scent for both. Which to some people is a downer. I admit I'm one of them. I was expecting there to be more of a difference because if you smell a honeydew and a watermelon, they do not smell the same in real life. But apparently in lip balm land, they do. So. If I had to pick one over the other, I don't think I could with these two because, like I said, they're the same freaking product except for the color. So I would say, really, go with whichever color you like more because the actual product you're getting- whoops, it's rolling away from me- the actual product that you're getting is the same thing in both, just with the tiniest little undernote. If for some reason that little undernote bothers you, go with this one. If not, and they discontinue this one, you can use this one and basically feel zero loss whatsoever because they are so similar. So that's about all I have to say on these two. I'm gonna have a couple more comparison videos involving this guy here. You're all probably gonna be sick of hearing about watermelon by the time I'm done. I'm also gonna compare it to the Revo watermelon and the Chapstick watermelon splash. So then we can move onward and forward with something else. So, as usual, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well, leave comments down below, until next time, bye!